Hello, this is Paige. So what I want to do with this video today is it's a review on the Creative Memories G Golly Card Kit. Um, so I, th I believe the kit is still available. You can check out the Creative Memories website to uh, review if that's still available. But um, I want to go over the things that I uh, really liked about the kit and then anything that um, I felt could need improvement. So I will go ahead and uh, feature this kit and what is included. So the whole kit comes in a nice uh, nice little box like this. Even pattern on the back side. So when you're done all the cards they can go right in there. And then it comes with um, a step-by-step -step instructions on each card and how you um, how you make the card and uh, it was a little bit of getting used to because I'm not used to following instructions with this method because all the die cuts have the numbers and letters behind that so it just took a little bit of getting used to so how I uh, helped organize myself as I took just Ziploc bags and I put numbers in it um, 1 to 12 yeah. and um, this is uh, so these are kind of what the pieces come like and maybe I'll open the bag just to show how they're numbered on the back Okay, that one doesn't. Okay, some of these um, were bonus pieces, so they might not have any numbers on the back. Just because. <laughs> All right. So if it was like for card uh, one, then it would say like one B or one C, and then you would follow the instructions on how to assemble. But yeah, just because these are bonus pieces, there's not numbers on to show, but that's how that would work nonetheless so it's nice they do give you some extra car, um, card pieces that if you want to uh, say for example uh, change up um, the greeting on that one particular card you can change that up so that was that and it does come with um, a pack like a sheet of like enamel stickers that I pretty much used up so I can't show that but we will include a photo that will illustrate what the stickers look like and you'll see on the cards too what what they will look like uh, so you get uh, 12 white envelope uh, envelopes and 12 uh, card bases so it's just uh, um, the thing I didn't um, particularly um, like is how I think because the card bases are kind of squished into the box they kind of when they came they were a little bit bent out of shape so um, I try to use the better card bases on some for some cards and then the others I just made my own card bases which I'll, I will show so that was I guess kind of a um, disappointment factor but um, although the the card stock for the card bases is of a good quality so um, so nonetheless you could still use you know you could cut them in half and still use uh, the card stock and then uh, the envelopes are really cute how they have different prints in them I can show uh, some other envelopes I think there's like four different uh, designs for the envelopes get that out of the way okay oh and I'll, I'll show another envelope since it's handy so that has a green inside and let me just see if this one has no oh, that one's green too this one might have an orange so that one has an orange one okay so like what's on the instructions here the first card um, it's kind of a fun uh, I've never done a card like this so it 
it, it makes a wheel inside so you can change up the the greeting so you just you just move the wheel there and I'll include a photo that kind of shows what the wheel looks like um, before the card is put together so that was kind of fun um, the one thing I found with this style of card is it says in the instructions that you can use adhesive or the foam squares um, to put the first uh, panel down on the on the wheel but I found just using the adhesive uh, didn't work the wheel didn't spin very well so I recommend you do have to use some foam squares on both sides of the wheel inside for it to spin smoothly so even though in the instructions say you know use adhesive or foam dots I wouldn't use just adhesive that didn't work so that would be my advice for that so just widen the inside so I did use um, one of the better card bases for that card and here is the second um, wheel card uh, so there was two in this in this kit uh, I've got some good remarks with this one people really like the type fighter I think it's cute as well and again the the wheel has I'm not sure many how many uh, greetings but it does have quite a few to choose from so that's kind of nice that you can you know if you're wanting just to have a variety of cards on hand and not knowing what what you want it to say you can choose the greeting for the um, you know the person at that particular time that is suitable so, so that one I did use my own uh, my own card base for so this is Stamp It Up cardstock. So I thought those colors went nice together. And you know, the one thing I did really like about this kit is that retro feel. So if you're into, you know, the 70s and 80s kind of vibe, then then you will like this this kit because it's not really a theme that I've seen very often with I uh, usually get like the paper pumpkin through Stamp It Up. I don't think they've ever done a theme like this and this one I used a regular the card base that the kit came with this one was quite easy to put together just uses the the foam squares on the back and then I added some of the stickers that it comes with and this card this is uh, why I got the kit <laughs> I love cassette tapes from the 80s of course and I was glad that they included um, two options for this the other one says remember when but I thought um, that's more for scrapbooking so I went with the the rock on and this one I used my own card base from Stamp It Up and I used some of the stickers that come with the kit this one I used my own card base as well this one was uh, really easy to put together and like I showed near the beginning there there was another option that you could use for the the card front that said hey there I think making my own card bases kind of gives the card more color than just the white I'm not big into white for um, you know I like a lot of color for cards so this one too I made my own card base I love the telephone um, some of the pieces that came like the die cuts that came in the kit I found got a little um, I guess roughed up the it worked out fine once it was on the card base but it was kind of bent in a few spots so I didn't didn't use any foam squares on the on this part here but on the rest I did so again some stickers that came with the I think I showed the inside and this this was just the regular white card base because the front panel was uh, takes up the whole card base so I realized that the color wouldn't show anyways so again this was uh, fairly easy 
just the layering. It was a little tricky to figure out where where each layer need to sit so that the whole uh, card was was even on the card base. But so yeah, some of those fun stickers. This one I think yeah was the card base that came with the with the kit. This one I made my own card base. I thought the white would be kind of boring, so made my own. Oh, and I um I added my own ribbon. Whoops, sorry. Oh shoot. <laughs> Knocked my light out. So I added some some white or not white, some yellow thread to give the card a little bit more something to it. I I like adding um, you know, a little bit more elements sometimes than just the die cut, so. So I guess we'll be out of <laughs> extra lighting temporarily. And this was, uh, I did this as per instructions, but just added my own uh, cardstock for the card base. And I made this like um, a top folding card instead of, the, instead of the traditional fold and the last card I have to show is the um, this style thinking of you add some more of those stickers um, this card pa uh, like the the gray panel was was a little bit uh, bent in some spots like I said just because how it was squished in the box but um, it was in like the top where I was able to cover that up so it worked out nonetheless so so yeah I just used the white sorry a little awkward here I just used the white card base that it came in the the pieces on the front are quite sturdy so it uh, it helped being that some of the card was not fully uh, flat that it made up for that so and then there is a there was one more card in the kit that I already sold and um, I will s just quickly have a look here to just to show what that card looks like it was the, was this one here so thank you very much it looks like a paper on a clipboard so that was the one that I sold and I I just made it as is on a I might have had it on a yellow card base I can't remember now but yeah so um, I think that is about it on on this review um, but I do recommend it even if you have to make your own card bases because it's a fun style and uh, very unique so uh, you can also check me out uh, my original creations on Instagram and Facebook uh, my name is folded expressions on both of those uh, Facebook is folded expressions by page and then just folded expressions on Instagram so thank you for tuning in and uh, I hope you enjoyed these fun unique cards take care mm -hmm.